the most the most important steps we took in getting our IT plan together was to actually go to people who, who can help you understand what the heck IT is all about. Because um, you know, I'm a community development based person and regional planner. I'm not an IT expert. And, and the first thing we did was uh, enlist the, the support of Info Exchange, who were then at the time a couple of years ago running a program called Measure IT. And we had uh, a great guy, Luke Newing, came out and sat with us for about a day, asked us a lot of questions, um, had a look at all our software, hardware, and spoke to our staff. And then about two weeks later, popped out a uh, fantastic, easy to read IT plan. And that was really the start of us um, understanding what were the things we needed to do uh, to improve our IT. And uh, again, saying we, we just didn't know what was out there um, in terms of what, and we didn't know what we needed to do. Uh, there were some fantastic, simple things that. Um, that Luke and the uh, Measure IT program uh, showed us uh, simple things like we were eligible for donor tech um, software, which we've now, which basically we now have a, the suite of Microsoft products, including all the Office products, loaded on all our machines. We've got the latest, uh, so we've got the latest software, and uh, we found ways to do things like simply uh, come up uh, higher on the search uh, the engines when you're looking at people trying to Google your product or or whoever by registering through Google. Um, to come up with uh, to be a bit higher on the registered on the register um, or on the hit list, so we've had a couple of simple things like that. Uh, the the other most important things uh, the other most important things we've found in terms of uh, implementing our IT plan uh, was to really bring our staff with us. Um, so what we uh, we were doing the whole time with uh, even from our IT audit. Um, and implementing new hardware and software was to ask staff about what they thought about they, the things they needed and the, the problems or issues they had. Um, the big thing for, for that part of it was staff were really, I'd say, weren't happy with the way the IT was running two years ago. Um, I'd only been in the organisation three months and I, the Geiger counter had gone off on the number of complaints that staff were having, simply about downtime, things not working for them. So we listened to staff and, uh, and, and not only put the fixes in place like software, we actually um, heard staff were saying that we uh, wanted to look at the hardware by having better monitors, better ergonomic situations for the, for, the, uh, for the office. So we actually not only introduced IT solutions in terms of new computers and, and, uh, and screens, we looked at the whole setup of IT, uh, the whole office environment for our staff. Um, along with uh, implementing new IT um, solutions, we also had to look at training. Um, and as part of a training program uh, developed up actually by Skills Victoria, uh, we found that we could use, uh, start training staff in some of the basic uh, software programs, including the Microsoft Suite, um, Excel, PowerPoint, Word and the like. So we embarked on the first stage of a training program that will now go on for, you know, for years and will be never ending.